Do you feel wired and tired or even exhausted by too much to do and too little time? Everybody has stress, but sometimes as women dealing with jobs, children, and housework, we feel overwhelmed. Tonight, we have some expert advice, starting with a Covington mom with a simple secret to inner peace. She is crying. I don't want to wear my hair like that. Jenny Bent loves her job as a hairstylist at Salon Serenity in Edgewood. This is the easy part of her day. Oh, whoops. It's coming. Jenny has eight children. Faith, how about a jelly sandwich for lunch today? You gotta do it like that. By eight in the morning, she's already sent the older kids off to school. Now she feeds the younger ones before heading to work. I do two loads of laundry every day. And this has been since Wednesday. It I takes organization and a sense of humor. You know, I went to confession once and I was, oh my God, they're driving me crazy. And he says, well, try to be like Mary. I said, Mary only had one. But some things just aren't funny. The subject of money brings Jenny to tears. Do you worry about it? Try to watch your own thoughts. See if you can notice what thoughts are popping up in your mind right now. This class at the Alliance Institute for Integrative Medicine teaches people how to quiet their minds when stress gets overwhelming. Can stress make you sick? Stress plays a role in 95% of diseases. Dr. Steve and Sandy Amoyles teach their patients a variety of techniques to control stress. The things that cause a lot of stress are things that are novel, that you've never been exposed to, that are unpredictable, that are a threat to your survival. We lost our house due to foreclosure. We were pregnant with number seven. What helped you through? I would scream the rosary. And I was like, okay, you've promised me prayer helps. And I would scream the rosary as if I was yelling at somebody. And then that got easier to pray the rosary. That was four years ago. Money problems remain, but prayer still helps calm her mind. Jenny even prays for her clients. Did you know she was praying for you? Not until this very moment. So hey, I'll take any prayer I can get. Experts say a sense of community helps to protect against stress. Jenny has that at the salon, in her church community, and in her family. Bless us, O oh Lord, ease thy gifts. Jenny's motto is pray, hope, and don't worry. But prayer is not the only answer. We also have tips for transforming stress into success from the Amoyles' new book, Get Well and Stay Well. Number one, simplify your life, which means learning how to say no. Reduce the use of stimulants such as alcohol, caffeine, and nicotine. Use social connections. For Jenny, that's her church and her job. For you, it might be a support group or walking with a friend. And take time every day just for yourself. Consider meditating or journaling. For more tips, go to Healthy Living on our website.